Hi guys, this is Karina from Mommy and Kimberly's Adventures. I am here to share with you um, God's faith and trust in Him. Um, even though sometimes we're going through trials and tribulations, sickness, loneliness, unforgiveness, whatever it may be, um, the devil comes to kill, steal, and God's, God's children. That's his job. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy God's creation. That's his job. He wants to have you in the pit. He wants you to go to hell with him, basically. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. He's a father of all lies. But our Redeemer lives. Jesus has the power, the authority. And you are his child. He, You belong to him. But he gives you free will of choice, my brothers and sisters. He gives you the tools of his word to fight against the battles of the end. Sometimes we feel alone, even when we know that a Christ is there with us. But this is, there's times that we feel we're so alone and that God has left us. I mean, we're human. We're made out of flesh. And sometimes we feel that way, but... Know that in those hard, hard times you're going through, he's carrying you, my brothers and sisters. That at the end of that black tunnel, we have the victory in Jesus. As long as we hold on to Jesus, as long as we have that faith like a mustard seed, like his word says, and powerful power of prayer, my brothers and sisters. Even if you feel weak, tired, weary, depressed, oppressed, anxiety, frustration, suicide, and all those other things at this world can bring to your mind your heart and your soul know that you read god's word you cry out to him he's listening to you he knows your pain he knows your sorrow because even before you speak it he knows but he wants to have that intimate time with you that quality time with your father god he wants you to give him the time let us not take it for granted what he did for us on the cross of Calvary. He died a horrible death for you and for me, my brothers and sisters. Don't ever forget that. Sometimes we take our families for granted, our spouses, our children, life in general. We take things for granted. Let's count our blessings. Let's count our blessings. Because everything we have is from Jesus. Everything we have, like the palpitation of our hearts, the waking up in the morning, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Before you get out of bed, say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Thank you for blessing my children, saving my children. Faith, things that are not seen. If you have unsaved loved ones, by faith they are saved one day. They will be saved. Continue to pray. Don't give up for your family, for your spouse, your children, your friends, your neighbors. Pray for them. God is a God of mercy and compassion and love and understanding. But he also is a God of rage. You want to make it? Be faithful to Jesus. Those that finish the race at the end win their crown of victory into eternity with Jesus. I try every day, step by step, step by step. I love God with all my heart. Have I had those discouraged days? Yes, I have. I've been serving the Lord over 28 years. But I've had those moments where I've wanted to give up and throw in the towel. But you know what? We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. Because we're made out of flesh and you have that lying devil and all his demons lying to me. You know what? God, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, gives us the victory as long as we hold on to him. Because he's always there, even in the midst when we feel that he is not. He is there, my brothers and sisters. Don't lose hope and faith. And I pray blessings upon your family, healing upon your family, in Jesus' name. Okay, I'm going to read a, a scripture to you that touched my heart this morning. And I want to share also a little story in the Bible that uh, shows how sometimes we don't trust God, but we realize when he speaks to us in that still small voice saying, won't you trust me?
trust Jesus. Even in the midst of your storm, trust him always and say, I bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. You have no authority within my mind, within my heart, and within my soul. Because he gives us the victory over those lies of the enemy. Okay. I thought this was so beautiful. I'm going to look down because my Bible is right here. It says, Jesus calms the storm. Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves weeped over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up. Lord, save us. We're going to drown. That's how we feel sometimes, don't we? He replied, you of little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up and he rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. And that's Matthew 8, 23 to 27. Sorry, <laughs> my fingers. Um, amen. Sometimes we don't have that faith. Jesus has to remind us that he is with us always in the midst of the storm. He's always there with us. And he will help us overcome those if we put our trust and faith in him. I'm going to read this. A little story here. Sorry, guys, with the hand because I'm doing it one-handed. Um, this really touched me and it made a lot of sense to me. So I wanted to share this with you guys really quick. Um, I'll be looking down here because I'm going to be reading here the Word of God. It says, those baby monitors. You know, the baby monitors we have nowadays, even the TV ones. <laughs> says, worry and exhausted were creeping up on me my daughter kate was 10 days old asleep in her crib and on the second floor of our smoke cap cod home i had neglected to ask my husband the instruction to how to instruct me in the use of the new baby monitor as we certain it was quiet beyond me what did moms do before the inventions of baby monitors. I asked myself as I ironed in the basement. The doctors had given me instructions to do the trauma of due to the trauma of Kate's birth. One trip up down the stairs a day for two weeks. Yet there was running but no, yes, they I was running up two flights of stairs in between each garment. That was not trust. That was worry, right, guys? I ironed, learning how to breathe over, says, leaning breathlessly over the crib rail to assure myself that my helpless little baby was still breathing. On the trip back to the basement, I would scold myself harshly for being that silly. But once again, while I was bending over the iron board, fearful thoughts recklessly teased, teased. What if crib death steals my baby away? Or what if she chokes and I'm not there? She questioned herself and she doubted. So back up the stairs I tread. After those completely trips, round trips, the question I asked earlier, interrupted my frightening. What did mothers do before baby monitors? The still small voice reading in my heart replied, the trust in the Lord far more, worried far less, and got a lot more accomplished. My thoughts were drawn next to Matthew 6, 25, 27. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? I knew then it was time to, fa to pause and confess 
thank you, Father, that little Katie is of great value to you and that if she is under your constant watch, I am ashamed of my worry. Please forgive me and help me to trust her life to you. Amen. See, that's us as humans. Sometimes we doubt. We don't have that faith. We don't have that trust in Jesus. We're human. But God always has that still small voice assuring us that he is there with us in the midst of it all. So put your trust and your faith and your hope in Jesus. And he will break those chains of bondage, of addiction, obsession, sickness, any battle you may be battling in worries, your family, your children that are lost in this world, your spouse. Because he gives us a victory through Jesus Christ who loves us. So I just wanted to share this word with you because it really touched my heart and um, get deep in God's word. My brothers and sisters pray, even if you read a scripture a day and in a few minutes with Jesus, go by yourself in your closet if you have to, in your room, quietly, outside, just speak to him like I'm speaking to you. He wants to, he hungers for you, he loves you. Don't squinch the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters. Give him time because he loves you. If he gave his only begotten son and he died, like I said, a gruesome death, give him the time, my brothers and sisters. He would, he would love that. So thank you so much for listening. I love you, my brothers and sisters. May you all have a blessed day. And may God bless all your needs, my brothers and sisters. Let me end it with prayer, Father. I come to you thanking you, Lord, for saving me father and i thank you for my brothers and sisters listening or watching this video lord that you would bless them abundantly bless their needs their homes their finances their marriages if they're sick in their body lord heal their bodies by your stripes by the shedding of your blood they're healed i bind loneliness oppression worthlessness unforgiveness anger rage suicide i bind into the pit of hell satan you have no authority within the children of god you were defeated on the cross of Calvary. you and your demons go to the pit of hell where you belong Father, I just ask blessings upon them. Bless all their needs, God. All of them, God, in your name we pray. Amen and amen, my brothers and sisters. Love you guys, and may you all have a blessed and wonderful day. And always focus on Jesus. Even when you feel don't feel like it, focus on Jesus. He is worthy to be praised and to give all the glory and all the honor to him. Bye.